If you sleep later, you're one of those people who gets up and listens to Neil Bortz. You've probably never heard of the Morning X. Those who do listen say it is one of the most clever, unpredictable radio teams in the country. Were you this kind of practical joker when you were a kid? Were you always oh, absolutely. in trouble? I was in the principal's office always. It probably still welts in my butt if you want to see it from the paddles. 99X. Waking up listeners one way or another is what the Morning X is all about. You never know what's going to happen. Oh, oh right in the middle. Oh, God. <laughs> Real shoshinay, look. You can laugh at yourself, but it's so much more fun to laugh at other people. Stop right there and let her go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> In more than six years as a team, Barnes, Leslie, and Jimmy have become known for their stunts, pranks, and practical jokes. We have a winner of the ice cream. We have a winner of the ice cream. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We have two winners. During the 1996 Olympics, they actually were suspended when Leslie Fram, who is the show's programming director, called O.J. Simpson, pretending to work in the hotel where he was staying. Most of what you hear is real, but some isn't. The fun? Well, trying to figure out which is which. That's the beauty of radio. No one ever knows what we're doing. Take the time Leslie lost a bet on the Super Bowl. To this day, half the people she meets ask to see her left hand. And once again, this is one of Barnes's brilliant ideas. The bet was that I would cut the tip of my finger off. We had this circular saw and the sound of a circular <sighs> saw. And Barnes had like a cup of Stoli that I was going to stick my finger in after it was cut. The week after, we had this big concert at the Fox. And I had this huge bandage and like some fake blood. But it was over the top, and people believed it. It's too early in the morning to think, but that's exactly what you have to do to keep up. Not everyone succeeds. We promoted a fake underground amusement park one year. We would do live remotes out there. And and you we had talked people about going this. out there? Well, yeah, and I didn't, uh, and I, f yeah, we did. <laughs> and I did feel bad. I did feel bad when I got the call from the lady who uh, had driven her entire family from Louisville all the way down to the Magic Island amusement park. Jimmy, the show's executive producer, points out that all complaints should be directed to the DJ. His name, again, is Steve Barnes. You know what, if, if you're offended, and uh, sorry, I mean, don't listen. The joke is not always on listeners either. A few years ago, Jimmy played a small practical joke on Barnes and started a war. We went through a period where it was getting, it was getting pretty brutal. I think was the last Were they draw, real? Oh yeah, I mean, he, uh, he sent um, he sent uh, a male prostitute to my hotel room in New Orleans. Eventually, it started to get out of hand. So these days, most of their jokes are directed at other people. It's never intentionally mean. Sometimes, maybe. You've never regretted anything you've done on the air in terms of practical joke. No. Never. Even when you sent the male prostitute to Jimmy, I actually. Love that more than any of them. How do you all come up with this stuff? Barnes, uh, I have to give him credit. Generally, the stunts uh, pop into his brain, and I think it's a, a product of his sadism. Did you ever think in growing up that you would make a living, and you know, a good living, basically telling people off, playing good music, and pulling pranks? That's just it. The, the fact to be able to get up every morning and do what I do innately, which is being sarcastic, and being a smart ass and you get paid for it. I mean, where can you find a job like that? Nowhere. And yeah, I thought I would be doing it. Another rough day. Extremely competitive. Barnes is the quintessential jock. Hey. Really not about how good your top spin lob is. It's all in what you use and what you wear. He plays tennis with Luke Jensen and is well connected in the sports world. The annual 99X Celebrity Softball game pits Barnes against Jimmy and attracts big name athletes like Herschel Walker, Evander Holyfield, and Tom Glavin. I couldn't help but notice Glavin was on Jimmy's team at this game. We're the home team. Tell you okay, something, home team. Watch it. Let me tell you. Barnes is probably the single most confrontational person I think I've ever met. He lives for confrontation like we would live for oxygen. 
confrontational. Would you agree with that? What are you trying to say? He is the biggest self-promoter on the radio station if he believes it, it's real. I wouldn't want anyone else driving the ship. It is a delicate balance, but the trio does indeed seem to have captured lightning in a bottle. Now, why do you think this works, the three of you? It just accidentally happened, and I don't know why it works. Maybe that's, maybe the mystery is the good thing, is we don't know why. We don't ask questions, we just keep going.